and you know, I didn't chew along on this light line and it just, oh boy, that's fun. You saw it jump, right? Yes, sir. Almost 100% sure it's a tarpon. Okay. Well, well, that looks silver to me. Sweet. Hey, folks. Today I'm on the water with Brandon Barton. He's a uh, local kayak fishing guide here in Pensacola, Florida. Um, I had just left. I was going to fish uh, Ride the Bull, uh, which benefits Louisiana CCA. We were at Grand Isle, you fished there a couple times. And um, Hurricane Ida. Looks like it's gonna be bad out there for sure. What, what did you say you, you heard it was a, a four? It's a cat four right now, and it might go to a cat five, so. I ran east, called up Brandon and said, all right, where are we fishing? Is it fishable right now? And you think as far as it's, it's, it's pretty far, west of here because I drove for what five hours right. to get here and yeah, we should have some time before the wind shows up to do a little fishing out here all right that's all we're probably gonna get some, some wind and a little bit of rain off the storm unless it turns but as of right now it's projected the middle of the so we're right up in the middle of Louisiana cool I mean not cool not because we them. didn't have ride the bull whatever we're gonna catch some fish though all right, all all right. We can. let's do it Right now I'm throwing a top water. Uh, this is an area that's known to have a lot of trout and redfish, especially right on the edge of some deeper water of the bay, Pensacola Bay. So there's a chance that, you know, 30, 40 inch bull reds, especially right here at sunset. I'm just throwing a bigger uh, five inch top water, Savage Gear Mud Minnow, right there. Just throwing it out, seeing if we can get a fish to blow up on it. Just working this deep, deeper edge. Fish. Oh, come on. So, what can you tell folks about? Top water in terms of having a better hookup percentage because it seems like we get so many blow-ups that we miss what's what's your approach so one of my main approaches uh, I'll share something that's kind of a, a, a newer product too um, at least keeps the fish pinned up Savage Gear actually makes these grip treble hooks and what it is is there's actually braid move it this way a little bit so we can see it against the oh, there you go it's actually braid that's tied to the split ring and then attached to the hook. And what it allows it to do is when you got a fish that bites this, it starts shaking it, you can actually, it'll actually allow the treble hook to twist, you know, a good 10 times before it stops and causes leverage to pull the hook out. You wow. know, a normal hook, you spin it a half a turn and it's, it stops and it's going to have leverage where the fish can shake it out. With these, like I said, they could shake it and, and spin it around in their mouth. And it's still going to stay pinned in so the hookup ratio is a little bit better um, another thing i like to do when throwing top water if i got a fish that keeps constantly blowing up on the top water i'll follow up on that cast with a, a, sw a smaller swim bait or a jerk bait or a twitch bait right behind it and usually you can get that fish if he's still interested to bite if he won't commit to the top water so uh, that's one of my favorite techniques or usually have one prepared immediately for a follow-up behind the top water if it's starting to starting to blow up but top water's so much fun, it's hard to put it down sometimes. Right. Yeah, I wanna, uh, I got some spots off the beach that are, they're like three miles out. Yeah. That I haven't been to in like four or five years. And I wanna, I wanna go there, you know, with the torpedo and do like a high speed troll. Right. the spots. Just every time I've been offshore, I've been with someone that doesn't have a motor, so I can't really do that. Yep.
spray. Well, I'll go up to four mile an hour trolling with the um, catching the striper. Right. And sometimes it makes a difference between them just messing with it and them eating it. What do you use to troll when you're trolling at your feet? Yozuri, Crystal Flash Minnow. Right. The deep diver one? Sometimes. Sometimes it's shallow. It depends, you know, what time of year we're talking. Right. That's what a lot of people use to troll here with. The Yozuris? Yeah, the Yozuri Crystal Minnow. Yeah, it's a good bait. Yeah. They just, they eat it. All right, guys, we're out here fishing Pensacola Bay with the Torquitos. We're going to try to sight fish some bull reds, maybe some tarpon, possibly some triple tail, and see if we can find any cruising fish, cruising down the light line, and uh, throw some artificial lures at them and see what we can put in the air and see if we can get a bull red or two. So we got a little bit of a storm that's popped up. We're kind of underneath the bridge. We got some pretty big waves rolling in, but not so much that we need to roll, roll back to shore. Uh, we're hoping it passes here pretty pretty soon. Uh, we can see it in the distance. And uh, it's blowing some pretty good wind on us. A couple breaking waves here and there. So. I can see the night shot up. mode if you want me to. Nah, just leave it. I'm hooked up. I, I started trolling the Yozuri. Did you push record on that? Yes, sir. Hey, I, you know, I did the Yozuri flash minnow, which is what we use in the the uh, Chesapeake a lot to troll for striper and and you know I didn't troll long on this light line and it just oh boy that's fun you saw it jump right yes sir almost 100% sure it's a tarpon okay well look that looks silver to me sweet Hey, let me back up. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Oh, he's gone. That was cool. Wow, that was cool. How big was that? Uh, probably like 60, 70 pounds, something like that. <laughs> that was so cool. That was awesome. All right, I, that was this like is, this is what what he hit, Here. and they don't, you know, the the striper don't usually get off of that ever. But they, shoot, they have something. a really hard mouth, so it's really hard to keep them pinned. As soon as they jump, they throw it out. That was cool. All right, I'm gonna keep trolling. See if that do it again. Keeps uh, keeps going. Damn, that was cool. That was the first to come. All right. All right, so we're out here trying to sight fish some of these redfish and some smaller baits. They're being kind of spooky and cruising around. What you're going to want to do is just when you see a fish, try to uh, put a cast probably five to ten feet in front of them and, and then kind of reel it kind of quickly to get it, you know, within striking distance. And What's striking distance? Two or three feet at max, just so they can see it. I even sometimes like to skip it across the surface as I'm bringing it to the fish so they kind of know. Skip it? Yeah, know they're, you know, know something just hit the water and they'll kind of get interested and then you kind of, you know, pause it right in front of them, maybe twitch it a couple times if they if they turn on it, so. All right. All right, Brandon is hooked up. What do you think you got? I saw two of them. First yeah. one I flew past too fast, and then so I slowed down when I saw that first one, and then I saw another one, so I threw, I threw a, a little artificial shrimp in front of him and bumped it. There's some drag running. I only got 20 pound leader on this one. Yeah. Can't force it too much.
I hit a, sh a shrimp, huh? Yep, so Savage Gear uh, 3D shrimp. 3D shrimp. Beautiful, man. So maybe the smaller baits. You said more... they were being finicky. Yeah, and not only that, I actually uh, took a pair of pliers and grinded off the weight, or half the weight of this shrimp lure just so it doesn't sink. It floats pretty quickly, you know, staying yeah. on top for triple tail and stuff. Just wanted to be a little more picky. Nice catch, man. Nice redfish. So you got this little shrimp hanging out of its mouth. Yeah. Not too bad. Finally got to get one to eat. Cool. Been seeing a couple of them, but it's been real finicky, kind of charging at it, but not swallowing it and zooming off. This one crushed it the second it saw it. So nice. Not too bad of a fish. Go ahead and pop this shrimp out and let him go. Right in the corner of the mouth too. Perfect. It's a Savage Gear 3D shrimp. Like I said, I modified it just a hair by uh, cutting some of the weight off so it doesn't sink as fast. God, that looks real. And look, I'll show you those too. So, as you can see, so there's some of the weight yeah. on the, uh, this is the non-wheelless wheelless version, but it's about close to the same weight. So, like I said, I uh, trimmed it down just a little bit. Got a little bit of rattle in it, but they see that coming across the surface and then stop and they, they go up and crush it. It's smaller than I'm, I'm used to seeing people throw at redfish.